if you're planning to play Ace in the OPO3 format, if you could do me a huge favor, 90% of my viewers aren't subscribed to the channel. If you found this deck helpful, do me a favor and hit subscribe and thumbs up the video. Uh, in this video, we'll go over every card and what they do in the deck uh, and talk about why I'm playing them. Uh, first, we'll take a look at the leader ability and how it works. Uh, this build, I've been testing White Beard and not playing Striker. So let's take a look at the leader. Uh, first up, we have Ace. Uh, when this leader attacks or is attacked, you may trash any number of st event or stage cards from your hand. For each card you trash, this leader gains plus 1,000 power during this battle. And so any of the event cards in your deck, they're never dead. Uh, you can use them for combo, which can come in handy typically before, like any time where you're just like, wow, I have these event cards and they do nothing for me right now. Now they become combo power, plus, of course, Marco as well, but we'll talk about him in a minute. Uh, next, we play Otama. Otama's a 2K combo. It also makes Marco's pop stronger, and then also some people run the 4-drop Brook, uh, which does the uh, Dawn X1 when attacking you minus two characters by 2,000. Uh, we're also playing White Beard. Uh, in this build, I've been testing the 9-drop. This is interchangeable with Shanks. I believe you can just pick your poison whoever you want to play uh the 7k is a nice buff uh it always has been uh, zora can swing seven with marco easily during this format but of the low cost the Ezo, the buggy you have a lot harder time swinging seven without machino and it pretty much takes up all their dawn for their turn uh, so overall very solid shanks essentially you get two attacks per whitebeard's one attack in those final turns uh, which can be a game changer and also shanks cannot be blocked by 2k blockers which yellow runs so um, definitely feel free to experiment with both of those uh, i've been testing white beard i also have a build with shanks jozu i'm playing it at four i cut down on makino to place him in and i've seen builds play for the rush is just something uh, you want to see more of in certain situations. It's never bad. Um, you know, it's almost like your Rush Zoro, but this one has 2K combo. Uh, once again, Ace, also Rush, amazing for cleaning up boards and just pushing for game uh, because, you know, Ace is a Whitebeard Pirate. You get both of those. Double minus 3,000. He can attack. Your leader can attack. So at le you're at least cleaning up two cards. And then Makino, we're playing two. Uh, she is a 2K. And then on occasion, you can use her to boost Izo or Buggy. That does pop up and does help for those like final pushes. Uh, you know, uh, feel free to make adjustments. You could play this at four. Marco, once you're at two life, you can ditch any white beard card to bring him back. So he helps stop the giant swings from yellow and black decks. Uh, the utility of this card, in essence, makes any attack a one-card counter because you can just block, let him lose, then discard one card to bring him back. And so you can pretty much one-card combo out of any attack when you have Marco. Uh, also, we have Izo, best card in the deck. Gets you your Marco attackers in the early game. Plus... Uh, if you're playing the striker build, uh, since it's not any card with the white beard type, you can add striker. This build, we're not playing striker, um, but you can also add the white beard pirates event uh, and continue the search for Marco if you don't see a Marco. Uh, it's a last resort, but it is useful and it does come up. Buggy is also a huge card that comes out in OPO3. He gives you a body that you can dawn up and swing, plus he searches one event, um, but that doesn't include stages. Buggy allows you to tech out your deck a little bit more because every event is searchable. So historically, like, you know, round table, things like that, you couldn't search. He changes that and it's a huge change to the metagame. Then we, of course, have the Marco, another meta defining card from OPO3. Uh, absolute staple in any red deck uh, for the format. Uh, he doesn't have the two life requirement either, which is huge because you can just discard an event. So it's not even like the white beard requirement. You can discard any event card. Uh, and this works exceptionally well if you do opt to play striker. I do have a striker build on the channel. Be sure to check that out um, because you can always just have that event to burn. Round table, I'm playing one, uh, four, nine. You can pop any card with Marco 
or swing over any card with your leader. This card was popular in OPL1 format, and now because of buggy it being searchable, it is once again playable. And I've opted to play one. I've seen people play two. Definitely feel free to play around with this. I think it's worth including in builds depending on the on how the format is shaping up. Radical Beam, staple, gain the 4K. If you really wanted to, you could play Guard Point um, just because you might not always have that two life requirement. But absolutely amazing card. You got to play for everybody. Every red deck's playing for. Uh, we're playing one of Seaquake. Uh, it does pop a 3K or less power, so it works great with Ace. Uh, it also works with Round Table to be able to pop anything for five. Whitebeard Pirates, another searcher to get you your Marcos, be it if you need the attacker or the blocker. Uh, this only adds characters. Um, I did opt to play four. I could see if you wanted to cut this to three. And the next up, the best card, arguably, for Ace. Only Ace can play it. Flame Emperor. Uh, this card is a game changer on the nine curve, allowing you to activate... You can pop a card, and then you can also swing 9K uh, if they have no Dawn. So it is especially effective against red decks at 3 life specifically, as Radical Beam will only buff them 2K. Uh, with this card in hand, you can keep yourself in the game and force your opponent to give you 3 cards or lose 2 life. Uh, my favorite play is to use this card after my opponent drops Katakuri on 8. And then if they put a card in your life, even better. Uh, just be careful against Red at 2, as Radical Beam and Guard Point are commonly used in these decks. Um, just because Marco. So this is really what makes Ace good, uh, as he's the only leader able to play it. Of course, all these other cards come in as well, but this card is specific to Ace. I really hope we see more Ace leaders in the future. But yes, uh, I'm playing 3. I could see 4, but I feel like it'd get clunky if you're playing Striker. Definitely three. Crossfire. I'm a big fan of this card as well. Uh, Crossfire makes it possible to destroy Big Bomb 10 drops with Flame Emperor. So it combos great with that. It also allows you to keep a character from being KO'd by dropping an attacking character by 4K. So this card is activate main plus it at fluctuates as counter. So you can use it in either instance. Um, I've seen it played at four. We're playing three. And then finally, Jet Pistol. Uh, we are playing two Jet Pistol. Uh, this card has been decent. I like it more in the non striker build just because the format doesn't have a bunch of low costs. Um, if Law is super prevalent, I would definitely be playing Fire Fist just to get rid of those two. Um, but I think. Jet Pistol because with Flame Emperor, Flame Emperor is also just a Jet Pistol out of life. Um, if you found this content helpful and look forward to playing Ace and OPO3 come July, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more comment. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, overall, Ace will be a top contender in OPO3 format. Uh, he showed up in the top in Japan. However, it will take skill um, because he is the underdog of red with Zoro and Whitebeard still being incredibly powerful. Um, yellow with double big moms still been my biggest struggle. And against black, making sure to play against Isho um, to play around him, not get hit with that. When you know they're going to their eight curve, make sure you have less than six cards. And thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all taking the time to watch the video.